Welcome back. It's now 649. Retired educators and members of Dooley County are remembering the life of their beloved former coach, Harry Ward, who died last month. Our morning reporter Pepper Baker is joining us live with more on why they feel his contributions are very important to celebrate during Black History Month. Good morning, Pepper. I can't wait to learn more about him. Good morning, Aaron. Yes, former educators and former players say if you're from Dooley County, you should know who Coach Harry Ward is. They reflect back on the culture he shaped of what it meant to be a disciplined student athlete and how his legacy lives in the school system today. If it was not because of him, then I, I wouldn't be here. David Barron played basketball for Coach Harry Ward at Dooley County High in the 70s. Well, I lived in Byronville. And I didn't have no way home. And what Coach Ward did, he said, well, then what I'm going to do, David? He said, I can see some in you. He said, what I'm going to do is, is uh, I take you home. Ward began teaching in 1961. In 1966, he came to Dooley County High, which then was Vienna High School, and affected students and athletes' lives for over 20 years. He was a father to me. And we were so close. Uh, and, he, and he worked a living day, daylights out of me. But now he saw enough in me to say, well, then, you know, you, you earned the right for me to take you home. He made every player on that team feel as if they were the most valuable player. Former educator and athlete Arnie Bryant used to sneak into Ward's basketball practices as a little boy, then went on to play for him in high school. A lot of times the way he behaved and the way he carried himself, I learned from things that he didn't intentionally mean to teach us. And one of those things was discipline. Ward started the men's and women's track teams at Dooley County High, winning three state championships. Many Harper took over the program when Ward retired in 1992. The kids loved him, and like I said, he was very disciplined every person. And like I said, I tried to follow his footstep. Whatever he, whatever he did, I'm, try, I'm still trying to follow in him. It's no steps because he was great. Ward went on to be a Dooley County Commissioner for 29 years. Principal Jerry Sanders says his contributions to this community will live on. We're going to continue to remember Coach Ward. He's not gone. His spirit yet will live in Dooley County, and he will be one of the pillars remembered here, and we'll make sure that his legacy continues here at Dooley County High School. Now, Ward also coached Olympic gold medal sprinter Roger Kingdom, and he was also a faithful member of the Bethel Baptist Church in Vienna, where he served as a chairman on the Deacon Board. Reporting live, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. What a legacy. Thank you for sharing that with us, Pepper. Ward died on January 7th after being sick for a while. He was 87 years old.